Hello, colors. Welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona's La Masia has been ranked as the third most valuable football academy in the world. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Lionel Messi, as it has been reported that Barca still have faint hopes of Messi returning to the club, according to new reports. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the story in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you are just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca. FC Barcelona are widely regarded as one of the biggest clubs in world football. Although the club have been experiencing an economic downturn in recent years, they have continued to register high net worth and remain one of the most attractive destinations for any footballer. However, as their motto goes, Barcelona are more than just a club. The Catalan entity is also known for their world-class La Masia Academy, which has produced some of the most talented players football has ever seen, including Lionel Messi. The list also includes the likes of Xavi Hernandez, Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets, along with new generation superstars such as Gavi and Ansu Fati. Hence, it is no wonder that La Masia is one of the most sought-after locations for any young player. According to CIES Football Observatory, the Barcelona Academy, in fact, is the third most valuable academy in the whole world, behind SL Benfica and Chelsea's. As per the estimated transfer values of their academy graduates, the Barca Academy is worth around 581 million euros. SL Benfica stand first with a whooping valuation of 670 million euros. Why Chelsea are not far behind with a valuation of 630 million euros. Other academies in the top five include AFC Ajax, that is 555 million euros, and Manchester City, 510 million euros. The list does not come to as any surprise, as these five clubs have indeed produced a series of top players in recent years. One would expect Barcelona would be at the top given the number of players that have come through the ranks and become a success in the first team. This has been quite evident if we look at the growth of players such as Gavi and Alejandro Bade, while Ansu Fati remains a part of the setup despite ongoing speculations over his long-term future at the club. So it does not come as a surprise as La Masia being valued the third. I initially thought it was even the first because honestly speaking, La Masia for me still remains the most popular football academy in the world. The most popular, like Barca have always had this reputation of bringing out players in the La Masia, you know, bringing them to the first team. It has always been a tradition up to this day, even though it's not that rampant like it used to be. Um, we have seen that the new president, Laporta, is trying to implement what was almost getting lost under the then president, Josep Maria Bartemeo, because, at, to be honest, it was like the tradition was dying down. We quite remember towards the final years of Josep Maria Bartemeo, Barca were mostly spending millions and millions of euros to sign in players. And the worst part is those players come and they don't even perform. But right now, I think Laporta is doing a good job to ensure that Barca go back to the system of, you know, screening for, for, for world-class talents or potential talents from the La Masia Academy and integrating them to the first team, which is far cheaper and profitable because if we look at things critically, we see that the best players in Barca's history have all come from La Masia. Xavi, Iniesta, Messi, Busquets, Alba, all those world-class players have been from La Masia. So you can see that it is very profitable and cheap because Bartemio's regime was mostly buying millions, Coutinho, Dembele, hundreds and hundreds of millions, and some of them, most of them come and flop. 
So I think it's a good thing that Laporta's regime is trying to go back to that system. And we all know that it has also it have also been strengthened by the fact that finances have been short. So we don't have money to buy. Either we go for the free agent pool or we, you know, try to look at Gavi and, you know, Alejandro Barre all from there. And they are doing very, very well. Then on to the next story of discussion. According to Sport, Barcelona still retained faint hopes of a possible summer return of former captain and club legend Lionel Messi. The 35-year-old icon is in the final five months of his contract with PSG and why it was widely reported that he is set to renew with the Ligue 1 champions at least for another year, an agreement is yet to be confirmed. In fact, recent reports from France suggest that Messi is currently not in favor of signing a new contract with PSG, although that possibility is not completely off the table. The recent 1-0 defeat to Bayern Munich in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 first leg, as well as the recent issues that PSG have been facing, are said to be creating doubts in Messi's mind about a renewal. The Argentina captain has a contract offer already on the table, and his agent and father, George Messi, is scheduled to meet PSG president Nasser El Khalifi later this month to talk about the contract details. However, with an agreement yet to be sealed, Barcelona still have slight hopes that they can bring their club legend back in the summer. Barca president Juan Laporta has always wished to resign Messi after having unable to retain him in 2021. However, any move would be difficult due to the financial fair play issues for starters. Furthermore, Barcelona cannot offer Messi the same contract as PSG and will have to convince him to return based on the sporting project they have in place with Xavi building a fine team. While there might be some hope within the club of making a return happen, any report of Messi's possible comeback should be taken with just a pinch of salt at this point in time, as FC Barcelona's financial fair play problems and his strained relationship with President Laporta will be definitely a major hurdle to deal with. Of course, of course, exactly what I just wanted to say. Messi and Laporta are still not coming terms, honestly. We can see how his elder brother, Matthias Messi, two weeks ago, ranting his mouth on social media that kicked out Laporta. That was just something that told the whole world that Messi and Laporta are still in bad terms. And definitely, there's no transfer you can hope for for Messi returning if Laporta have not apologized or whatever, if they have not come into terms. So, let's see how it goes, actually. But according to this report, they are saying the... The club still have faint hopes, really faint hopes, of bringing back their legend Messi, whose contract at PSG expires at the end of the season, and the player is still to make any, you know, any comments about if he will renew his contract or not. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.